What is going on everybody? Hello, hi, my name is Jim and I react to videos on the internet and in today's video I would like to talk to you about Marcelito Pomoy. Yeah, this guy is kind of incredible. He can kind of do it all. He is a vocal chameleon. He can slip in and out of genres effortlessly. He can sing both male and female parts with ease and with incredible clarity and pitch perfect performances. Uh, and in today's video, I'd like to see, well, what can he do with Spanish music? I mean, the guy seems to be able to do whatever you throw at him. This next one we're going to listen to is Despacito, and it's from the same YouTube channel. Uh, I really like these guys, Freeze Time Media Productions. Uh, they've got great audio quality and great visuals to go along, so I'm really kind of getting the full picture of what this guy's able to do. And in this in particular performance, and the ones I've been reacting to, he actually has a live band behind him. Now, that makes things a little bit more difficult. If you're essentially just singing uh, and you have the backing tracks and your in-ear monitors and you're, you're sitting on a bus and you're, you know, you're doing your thing, yes, that sounds perfect. It's the best audio quality, the best levels. There's no slapback. There's no uh, atmospheric deconstruct. There's no atmospheric problems you have to deal with. Like Everything is just perfect. However, there is a certain energy and there's a certain stamina that is required to standing up and singing with a band you have to kind of change your presence you have to change how you like ring out notes you have to kind of work around uh basically four or five of their dudes playing instruments or ladies let's be real <laughs> um so despacito this is a song obviously i think everybody pretty much knows it's like kind of like a feel-good summer song i think i don't know i, I don't know what the lyrics actually are <laughs> but it feels kind of fun um, I remember hearing this over the summer and always getting down to it. It just reminds me of drinking a margarita on the beach. Uh, I've always enjoyed the tune. So let's see what this guy can do with this song. Because, I mean, there's a lot of slight uh, in inflections in this song. There's a lot of, you know, like Spanish flair-esque. I, I don't even know what to call it. You know, because I'm, I'm not exactly versed in Spanish music myself anyway. But I know this guy is from the Philippines. You know? <laughs> Um, so let's see how he can approach a song like this, what kind of spin he's going to put on it, because what I'm noticing from Marcelito is he is able to kind of adapt to any sound that's thrown at him. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of uh, that guy from Police Academy that can just mimic any sound that he hears. But he doesn't just do it with sound. He does it in perfect pitch quality on any kind of vocals you can imagine. The guy can literally do anything. Or so I've heard so far. Let's see what we can do with some Spanish music. Let's check it out. Oh, and hey, if you guys are new around here, please consider liking and subscribing. It would honestly mean the world to me. I'm trying to reach for a goal here on YouTube. It would really help me out. So if you like my content uh, and you enjoy hanging out with me, please consider liking and subscribing to this video. All right, let's get a shot. Here we go. I'm interested to see how the band performs this as well. He's kind. He seems kind of hilarious too. Like Marcelito, he he seems like he seems like he's kind of a character. Uh, I like his presence on stage. He's not afraid to kind of crack a joke here and there. He's not afraid to do a funny voice or something. He's. I, I think he's just a natural entertainer. Uh, anyway, let, let's go. Let's check it out. Dude's got some flow. He 
could do it all. When is he going to breathe? That is a completely different talent than, than everything I've seen so far from this guy. We've seen this guy hold some incredible notes. We've seen some insane whistle notes. We've seen him blend a falsetto with an actual mid and bass range that's actually added layers to his voice, which makes it feel like it's a folk on power chord of vocals. But this, what he's doing right here, is a different level and a different talent altogether, and he seems to be doing it flawlessly as well. Pay attention to this guy's breathing. It seems like he's just doing this effortlessly, but he's essentially putting out so many different words. He's enunciating so many different little things. Even as I'm talking right now, I'm thinking, oh, you gotta breathe, you gotta breathe. Not this guy, though. This guy is essentially just keeping the same vibrato the entire way through. He's not like leaning too much into the mic, not leaning too far into the microphone where certain syllables, you know, come across as, you know, a little bit more abrasive than other ones. Everything is even keeled. I'm, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. This guy is a, a perfectionist at what he does. Uh, and he also seems like quite the character. I like his kind of like banter and the way he like makes the crowd kind of laugh and everything. He seems like a solid dude. Anyway, what I was trying to say is this is a completely different talent than just being able to sing really good, just being able to mimic another artist really good. This is him putting his own spin on this song, uh, doing it perfectly, uh, while at the same time paying proper tribute to how the song was performed so everybody can kind of resonate with that. This guy's wild, man. This guy is wild. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, man, that's a cool performance there. That's a cool performance. It shows off a completely different talent from the guy uh, actually being able to, I guess I'll call it rap, you know, be able to like rap like that, showing off some breath control, showing off some stamina, uh, showing off some, you know, being able to hold the vocals the way that they are at the same range the entire way through the rap. Uh, what I mean by that is if you want to try a fun little exercise at home right now, try rapping anything for as long as... 30 seconds. Watch how your voice pitches. Watch how your voice goes up and down depending upon how you are breathing. Being able to breathe in and out and sing like that and hold that same texture the entire way through is a completely different talent outside of everything that I've seen from this guy. And it's something to be respected. It's something not everybody can do. In fact, most people can't do without years and years of training. Now, at this point, I'm assuming he's probably had years and years of training, but that's not where this guy came from. This guy is 100% completely self-taught. That should blow your mind because it's blowing my mind right now. When I first heard of this guy and I saw some of his first performances, I'm like, okay, he's working with virtuosos. He's probably had years of training in some of the best studios in the world. And maybe at this point he has, but that's not where he started. He literally just started doing what he's doing. This is an ability that I think that you're kind of born with. 
I, I think you can kind of polish your sound. You can polish what you're kind of, you know, able to do and how you're able to sing, you know, maybe be able to hit a different note or, or have a stronger voice or better breathing techniques or any of that stuff that helps you project and helps you become an artist. But I think there's a certain something you almost need to be born with. You need to have a certain... And I'm no expert on this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dive into what you need. I was gonna say maybe you need like a certain like windpipe or you know a certain kind of shaped neck or, or or whatever. And I'm sure that does play into it. But what I'm trying to say is I think you need to be born with this kind of talent because not everybody can do it. In fact, I only know I only know like a handful of singers can they can even come close to the way that this guy sings. Now this this is a. a at first glance and first listen, you might think, okay, yes, yeah, it's Despacito. We've heard it on the radio a million times. Nobody's really impressed with this song. It puts everybody in a chill mood. It's a nice, cool, fun little summer song. Like I said, it reminds me of drinking margaritas on the beach. But what I'm trying to get at is to sing this kind of song with this sort of clarity and consistency takes a completely different kind of talent than everything that I've heard from him. And it's just another notch on the belt of why this guy is incredible. This was fun. This was a fun one. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking and subscribing. Like I said, it would really help me out, and I would honestly appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Have a fantastic night, everybody. Bye now.